Huawei's biggest achievement was creating their own operating system, Harmony OS, to fight back against the Google ban and the US sanctions. And guess what? Today, millions of people are using Harmony OS. But here's the thing. Harmony OS still sport Android APK files, which meant it wasn't fully independent from Google, right? Well, Huawei didn't want that. They wanted Harmony operating system to be completely free from the Google's ecosystem. That's why they've introduced Harmony OS next to the market, which is a step towards fully independence. So Harmony operating system next only runs native apps and has dropped support for Android. That is because Huawei's operating system has absolutely no Android code and uses Harmony kernel and the Pangu AI model to run this OS. Well, recently, Huawei even announced that all of its 2025 releases, including the recently unveiled flagship Mate 70 line, will be pre-installed with the Harmony operating system next, because Huawei is currently running a public beta of the new operating system, so approximately in next few years, all of Huawei smartphones will be shifted to the Harmony OS next. Now, here is the issue. What about people living outside of the China? like in Europe or other countries. I mean, how they are supposed to manage without Google. But let's be real. Google services are super important for them, right? Well, I guess that problem is now also solved. It might surprise you to learn that there is still a way for devices powered by Harmony OS Next to run Android apps. Let me tell you. Recently, a beta tester posted on Reddit about Android emulator found on the app gallery, which is Huawei's app storefront. The emulator can be found under its title Easy Abroad. Interestingly, it is developed for those with Huawei devices who work outside of the China and must have Google services. Well, with Easy Abroad, the user can install Android apps such as YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Google Search, Google Maps, Chrome, Gmail, Disney+, Netflix, and more from the tool's own app store. The app store appears as a folder on the smartphone's home screen. Well, you can't pull out apps from the folder and place an app icon on the phone screen. Additionally, there could be some issues receiving alerts and notifications normally sent to the user of the Android apps. Well, Easy Abroad is available on the latest version of the Harmony OS Next Beta. A YouTube content creator even tested the emulator and found that Android apps loaded quickly and for the most part run smoothly using Micro-G. So, people who were Huawei users and was worried about Google services, well now I guess you need to relax a little bit because there is a way to run Android apps on Harmony OS Next as well. So, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.